Happy Halloween! Hi guys! Welcome to the special Let's Play Layers of Fear Legacy. I don't know what to expect from this game other than it's going to be very scary. I'm excited but also really scared. Anyways, I'll see you in the game. And I'm playing this on the Switch, by the way. Layers of Fear is a unique, immersive game experience in which every decision affects the narrative. As in life, it is the doors you open, the memories you take with you, and the shadows you explore that will define who you are. This might be our game, but it is your journey. I didn't know it's a choice matter type of game. And now I'm even more excited because I love this type of games. I just hope there's enough time for me to make decisions because I kind of have to multitask here. Okay. New game. And I'm also hoping to see some beautiful Renaissance style oil paintings. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. This is... And who are we? Every portrait that is painted with feeling is the portrait of the artist, not the sitter. Oscar Wilde. The picture of Dorian Gray. Are we on a ship? So, is this some kind of walking simulator? Can I pick this up? I really hope there's a tutorial. Oh, okay, something's going on here. Circle? No. Which button? Oh. Oh, Is this a container of some sort? For... For... Uh, a horse? Something you can strap on a horse? Is it mine now? Oh no. Two coats. Men's coats. Looks like there's some leakage in this room. The wallpaper is almost half gone. Which room do we want to go first? I don't think we can go there, so let's try this. A chest. Some old newspaper. An artist's triumph, gallery opening wows critic. Some call him the new Caravaggio. Others compare him to Van Eyck. And one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. And any way you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. This part is scratched out on purpose. Distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiancée, looking stunning in her black gown, scratched out, he revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expecting... Okay, the rest of the newspaper is gone, but I'm guessing expecting um, a baby. And the part that was scratched out for the gown, maybe, I don't know, it was talking about a maternity style of gown. I guess we are the artist. Maybe. Okay, let's check out this cabinet. Oh, drawer. Nothing in there. Empty. There is something in there, but I can't pull it out. What is that? It's too dark to see. Like some kind of... Oh, container. Wine cooler. Some cigar. Seferino. Seferino. I wonder if that's a real brand of cigar. I don't even know if that is cigars, but the boxes look like cigar boxes. Some dominoes. 
dominoes. I spent so much time playing dominoes when I played Red Dead Redemption 2. It, it's like I was addicted to the mini games of a game that I was addicted to. Yeah, I really have an issue. Oh, here's a picture frame. This face that was scratched out, is it us? Maybe that's the artist. At the bottom of the picture, that could be dry blood. From the picture, looks like a deal was sealed. Maybe we were commissioned to do some portrait for this affluent social elite. Probably something bad happened. Lots of theories. There's a note on the door. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. It wasn't signed, but... Sounds like his assistant. That's my guess. Ooh, stuff on the table. Lots of stuff. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a, is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of the any kind, and us such decided not to act further than a prophylactic spraying. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pest Pacification Company. <laughs> okay, so we've been writing letters to this pest control company and accusing some woman, mother of the owner, that she had something to do with the rodents, allegedly, in this house. I wonder what these are. Maybe just first drafts? Draping practice. So that's everything on the table. Belt. Buckle says Longdale. Longdale. I have no clue. <laughs> it's the uh, what? Pop. Pop key? Pop kelp? No, I have no idea. <laughs> I can't read this. Um, Lard. Lagerfeld. Lagerfeld. Some Avenue, Seven Cents, Pop, Popki, Popkel. Well, I re I'm, I really suck at this. But let's rotate the belt. See if there's anything strikes our interest. Here's the plan. We will explore this floor fully before we go into. Oh, before we go upstairs. So far, it's not scary yet. I feel like I can handle this. Now we're in the kitchen. I don't think you can crouch in this game as much as I want to. So he's kind of a established artist. This house looks nice. Paprika. There's a note. Paint. Rose Doray. Burned Amber. Sienna. 25 brushes. 50 pucks of air fresheners. Apples. Ooh. <laughs> he needed more than he expected. 5, 10, 30. He wanted more alcohol. Um, that's probably his own painting. So far, nothing scary. Open everything that's available. Yeah, what a nice kitchen. Okay. Here. A pantry. That's more dry goods. And a lot of apples. I think these are apples. More paprika. Sugar. Okay, a lot of paprika. That's the kitchen. Try this corner. Here's a, the bathroom. Oh, the bathroom. I think something's gonna happen in there. <laughs> Treading very lightly. So you can actually zoom in, but I can't. So the faucet doesn't work, our water. I'm beginning to think that the artist was already dead. We're here to investigate what happened because it looks like the house has been abandoned for a while. 
Oh, so you can actually bring up the subtitles. That's good because otherwise that'd be very confused. <laughs> These are all cursive, very cursive. Archilis Prosthetics Company. One piece below knee prosthesis. How the hell did they fuck up the length below knee? So somebody had an artificial leg, either the artist or his fiance. Maybe this had something to do with the botched operation. Okay, something in here. Rat poison. Maybe his letters w were unfruitful and then he decided to take care of the matter himself and also the rat poison. Ooh, there was some bandage with blood all over it. So far, it's not scary at all. <laughs> Open this door. It's locked. Gotta find the keys. Need to find his office. I'm guessing the keys are upstairs. Some interesting paintings here. There's a painting of a very, very wealthy midget. This artist does a lot of portraits. So that explains the opulent house because only if you have connections to these social elites. They commission you to paint these very glorified, unrealistic paintings and then you get a lot of money. Which made them kind of a sellout. <gasps> okay, you're not a sellout. I think he was offended by what I just said. Okay. So, so many directions here. I don't know. Uh, my my usual habit is to go from the left to the right. So let's find whatever is on there. <gasps> a ball just rolled out of this nursery. Kind of looks like a nursery because um, there are all kinds of baby toys on the floor. Second floor is definitely more freakish. Good to see there's a giant panda on the shelf here because I love them. Love giant pandas. These dolls look creepy. They also look expensive. So here's a little table. From the newspaper, the fiance was pregnant. And these toys, to me, I don't know. Oh, here's a stroller. And this little rocking chair. Maybe there were more than just one kid. Yeah, definitely. Or um, this could be much later on. Because there was definitely a toddler at least. A little child. More than just the one in her belly. A family of three. There's a little girl. What is that eco emblem at the top of the hat? I didn't get that much information out of this room so far. Music box. What's this? Some of you guys might know the name of this toy, but I don't know. But it's the kind of toy that makes noise to distract the babies. <laughs> and they misbehave, I imagine. Huh. It still works. So that's everything in this room. Can I open the dollhouse? No. Then yeah, that is really everything. Here's a painting of a pet dog. I wonder if that's their dog. Was. I just assume everybody's dead at this point. There's another room. Oh, it's locked. You're next. I'm pretty sure this painting was also on the wall of this stairway. Oh, his office. Lots of books. I see. I can already see the key shining. It's the <laughs> That's weird. It's like a combination of a, a baby, a caveman, and a queen. Yeah, the queen because of the crown. And she was holding something. You can get really close up, but still, can't read it. Telling me to pick it up. 
So I picked up the key, but we'll still finish this floor before we go back to that room downstairs. The drawing of the red riding hood is telling a story. This was um, before she was eaten and eaten. It's showing a gruesome details. Mm, what does that mean though? It's another note. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. Tonight, it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. This note is probably from his fiance. It says, I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. Tonight, it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. Oh, that was loud. Okay. And the phone is gone. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some hard times right now. I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake, I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for kids' bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. He's talking about those illustrations that we just saw okay i have a i have a i have a theory right now of what's going on here my theory is i think the artist something happened to him and then he lost a leg and had this botched surgery from that company which didn't fit and then he started drinking to kind of ease away the pain or maybe the loss of dignity as weird as it sounds i think as an artist on this level they are usually perfectionists something like that is uh, it's gonna bother them way more than it does to a normal person aesthetics is everything right and then he started drinking heavily and um, lost his ability to paint as he used to couldn't even complete a simple job like this and then then my current theory goes only as far as this but so far i'm really into the story i think it's really good let's keep going peaceful thunders aside there's a piano more dogs this dog looks like the the one in the nursery in the baby's room these are probably their family dogs can I play this? <gasps> okay, I guess it's not peaceful anymore. Sheet music. The sheets were tapered. Maybe he composed this and um, later decided to burn it. Okay, that was weird. Where's that footsteps come from? I thought I was the only one in here. Now it's getting interesting. I'm getting a little bit paranoid. It's locked. Can I use my key? So many locked doors and only one key so far. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. What's this noise? Stumbling all around, stumbling all around, stumbling all around. It's so funny. Stumbling here and there, stumbling everywhere, and I must declare, I stepped right on her toes. And when she the storm is getting more intense, also. The mirror is broken. That's too bad. Otherwise, we would have seen what we look like. That's probably not important, but just out of curiosity. Galactic's grand opening in flames. <gasps> what the? What was that? Oh my god. I was just reading this newspaper clip. It looks like someone violently walked into this room. Never mind. 
Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the galactic department store turned into hell on earth when the buildings and wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined. Although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured, the owner of the Galactic, Ronald Skifield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Oh shoot! I forgot to look at the dates of the first newspaper clip, but this one only says Friday. Still don't know which date. But at least I could have looked at the volume number. Damn it! I wonder if he lost the leg from the fire, right? A Chinese embroidery fan, and there are some enamel on the vanity. Another note: I'm sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg, the legs, oh, both legs. Figured I might as well do some work with you. I think this further confirms my theory about the botched surgery really messed up his life. And his relationship with the wife too. Where's the music box? Can I make that stop? And a walking stick. Is anything in the wine coolers everywhere? He became an alcoholic. Oh my God! Someone else is in this house right now, trying to open doors and walking. The new face of music. The new face of music. A night at the opera becomes a night to remember. Something, something, might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years," stated famed pianist Daniel Richer. He was not alone in his praise. It seems that even Anthony Giles, one of one of something harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating that there is more to her music than. In Enthusiasm and a pretty face. Wow, that's mean. And a pretty face. When asked, when asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, "Yes, we caught up with the star." So, um. The artist's fiance was a musician, a very good one. So she must have composed what was on the piano. Hmm. This could be a bust sculpted by the artist during his fiance. What's is this? The closet. Some shoes, clothes, more wine cooler. That's a bit excessive. Wow, he he has a lot of empty wine bottles in here. Yeah, that's kind of sad. What a waste of his talent. That's all we have for this floor. Let's head downstairs and um, use the key. I hope I'm not walking too fast. Oh, his studio. This is where he paint. Let's look at the paintings. I think I'm gonna skip what I think is going on in this picture. A oh, painting. <laughs> I think you all know. Oh, here is another charcoal drawing. I think it's charcoal. And come on, this is just not fair because you, we should be able to see ourselves in this mirror unless if we're a ghost. Ooh, this could be the the artist or the fiance came back to haunt this place. <laughs> That's why you don't see any reflection in the mirror. How else would it make sense? Okay. No, 
goofing around. Let's see. Oh, I'm surprised nothing happened after I opened that box. There's the broken wine bottle. And also, I now that I'm thinking about that little Red Riding Hood illustration series that he did, it really reflected the state of the artist's mind at the time. Like, his mind was in a really dark place and sometimes they just can't hide it. What's going on here? The baby boy was grabbed by the falcon and the baby was so scared he started peeing in the sky. But there's something else. Something else. Um, how can I move up? Move closer. Yeah, his art became more and more disturbing, I would say. Okay, nothing here. Oh, this is gotta be good. Chests are always... <gasps> more alcohol. How about you? And more. Surprise, surprise. Um, just some used brushes. They're all broken, probably out of anger. He was not satisfied with the direction he was going. How can you? Um, wow. Well, his studio looks like a mess. Get it right this time. Yeah, he was probably just like feeling not inspired anymore. Can't do any, can't complete anything that he was proud to resent. That's really sad. Ooh. What is up? Losing color. We're losing colors here. This. <laughs> I almost don't want to open this door. But the curtains were... Can I open this curtain? No. What's this room for? The window was left open. Oh! There were some writings on the wall that says must be out of reach or something. I, I, it, I, I can... I can see it. Oh. More disturbing paintings. Must be out of reach. Who wrote that on the... Can I open this? Now I'm curious. So, so the window was left open. Someone ran out of the house from here? Maybe the assistant. Was this here before? This plant? It's pretty. So far that's the most lively thing. Ooh! Oh, 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 okay. So we, we haven't been here. This is a new hallway. These are, and these are probably his earlier works. Portraits for the aristocrats. And I have a feeling he wasn't happy about those either. Because that's normally... I don't know, actually. I don't know how they, the artists back then truly felt about being commissioned to do these type of things. That's kind of like the equivalent of doing wedding photos nowadays for photographers because it's steady income but the the room for creativity is very limited this must be her i mean she looks pretty she looks pretty and i like that gown she's wearing very soft and drapey for some reason i cannot flip these photos I hope I'm not missing any buttons here. That would be a big mistake. Oh, so we have that photo now? Because it's gone from there. But it doesn't show in my inventory. So I guess it's just gone. Turn it on. Turn it on. We need all the lights. What does it say? Going in circles. Yeah, he probably just got hammered on this couch. He wrote these. This was a written with a piece of charcoal but there's gotta be more to the story wow how many rooms does this house have you know who this reminds me of this guy reminds me of um james porter harry potter's dad <laughs> someone's 
messing with my head. Save the date off. Oh, this must have been their wedding invitation. Their names were scratched out. Who came who came to this house and defaced all all these documents? Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday the 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. June 9th, remember this date. It might be really important. More chest. Oh, what do you know? Right away. June. Uh, I'm gonna try the American format first. And then if it doesn't work. Nope. I think the dates go first in many other countries. Although that doesn't make sense because we need four digits. If there's zero for the month, then there should be zero for the dates too. But, oh. Hmm. Maybe there are some other clues. Sis. Okay, good, good, good. Candle. 485. Maybe someone's helping us. Someone's helping us to solve the puzzle. 485. There not be empty bottles in oh. The past holds back. Look closer. I wonder if you'll time travel no. the thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me so will you marry me yes. that's a beautiful sapphire ring that's their wedding ring but it was locked in his chest so she said no oh i wonder if she said no and uh didn't take the ring i don't get to keep it I kind of like it. Yeah, I really think she said no. Maybe because he lost his mind. Oh, it's too dark. And I don't have any um, flashlight or anything. That's it for this room. Never forget. What's this room about? These look like awards. Maybe he's won some awards in the past. Before the accident. Okay, update for my theory. I still think the previous theory is true, but to further that, I think he lost his legs during that fire at the department opening, grand opening. Uh, he proposed to his fiance. She rejected him, which did not help with his mental stability. Oh. Hmm, that's as far as I can get it to open. Maybe I'm not doing it right. I really- yeah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yep, I'm not doing it right. Um, the control is kind of strange. Kind of wonky. I'm not sure about you guys, but I love picking up these notes. You've been snooping around my workshop again for the last time. You are not allowed in that room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. Oh, so this was a note from the artist to the assistant. I wonder if the assistant had anything to do with their demise. Oh, mousetrap. Can I step on it? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, that's it for this room. Now we are going into this drawing room. Please don't quote me on this, but I believe this type of room is called a drawing room. It's kind of a bougie thing. Let's go closer look. Something, anything here? No, no, no. It's so dark in here. Is there any, can I add fuel to the fireplace? No, maybe I can burn something in here. Oh, why do people like these things? I think they're creepy. It's like uh, decorate, decorating your house with death. But that being said, I do understand the aesthetics. I, feel, I think it's pretty. Pretty and creepy at the same time. Oh, more domino stuff. So all he does is um, smoking, drinking, painting, and domino. 
This looks like a Phoebe Buffay original. <laughs> Figures coming out of the empty frame. When I spin the globe, I was kind of hoping this bookshelf opens up some kind of a backdoor mechanism of some sort. I still think it might happen. No. No luck here. But then where do we go next? This room is the end of this floor. I guess we'll have to walk out and find out. That's odd. I, I don't remember being in this hallway. But there that but that was the only door to that room. Oh wait, I was in this hallway. I remember the music got <coughs> <laughs> Stop fucking with me. Paint deep lies. Paint deep lies. I'm gonna half open my eyes. And then it gets too scary. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> He was painting. Although this this girl doesn't doesn't look like an upscale type of model that he normally does. This is a wild guess. She could have been a prostitute. And also, there's a signature at the bottom. That's probably his name, the artist's name. What is it? The I cannot read this. Shaw Shaw Sean Sean. I'm not that round. I'm not that round. Oh, the model wrote that this fell off from that spot. What is this black goo? Maybe it was glue? I would not glue a painting <laughs> on the wall like that. And um, so this painting is like a double exposure effect combining a portrait of a woman and a portrait of a man together what does this mean and this woman looks like the girl in the sketch yeah these paintings are distorted they all look like one one person looking straight ahead and then one three-quarter kind of thing probably doesn't mean anything though i'm probably really overthinking everything here. New room. I can hear the rats. He wasn't lying. He really did have a rodent issue in this house. Something happened in here. That's not his painting. Oh, they're trying to save, save the dog. Oh, dogs can swim. Can I turn this on? It's, it's rather dark in here. <gasps> oh, the painting just melted. I didn't get a chance to look at it. Unfortunately, and this was tipped over. I can't walk. <laughs> now it's getting finally. Otherwise, that would be this would be like the lamest Halloween upload ever. The game is waking up. Is that him? No. Some sort of a military leader. Yes. They stop at nothing. I don't. I won't go down easy. Screeching, screeching arsonists, echoing screams. Hmm. What does that mean? I don't get it. Oh, the painting's now a little bit more clear than before. Can I examine it? Can I get into it? Like really get... 
Is this uh what what are they looking at here? Is this a burial? And they are hanging like puppets. Is there a door? I don't see it. Oh wait, <laughs> that's not the same painting. This painting is still missing. There's only a hand there. This looks like another dead end to me. This room is weird. Hmm. Okay, let's get out. I'm, I really do think I'm not imagining things. It's uh, there in some of the rooms. There's only one door you enter, and when you get out of it from the same door, you enter another room that you haven't been to before. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna wrap up here. And um, so far, it might have um, might have been not scary enough for some of you guys, because I know um, some of you have much higher tolerance for horrors than I do. But I do think it was fun to explore the house, this massive house, and to kind of let the story unfold through these notes, letters, and paintings. And I don't know. Um, I don't know about the upload schedule yet, but I'm planning to have these two parts kind of close to each other and hopefully I can push them out before Halloween. Um, I'm actually really excited to edit this part. Hope to see you in part two. Um, oh, wait, I don't know. This could be a two parts thing. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next part. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the future uploads. And I'll see you next time. Bye.